What's up, Titas and Titas? Jared and Conde here. You're watching Tita Fit in this channel. We talk about health, we talk about fitness, we talk about living your best life as a Tito or a Tita. And uh, if you like that kind of content, let's go, let's watch. So if you have seen uh, one of my previous videos in the past, so we unboxed it and reviewed a body fat scale, a Xiaomi scale. So that Xiaomi scale, when we reviewed it, it gave me a grossly, I'd say, different result than what I expected on the scale. So remember, this was during the height of our lockdowns here in the Philippines. If I'm not mistaken, this was taken during the first bout of GCQ. Recently, I took one again. I took another measurement on the scale. My eating and my workouts weren't exactly optimal during the height of the lockdowns. I was indulging a little bit more on certain foods that maybe I shouldn't have had that much of. I was eating ice cream, I was eating chips, and uh, I was drinking uh, three or four times a week, but not that much. I wasn't drinking that much. I'd probably drink like a shot or two of whiskey a night, uh, maybe uh, once in a while, a uh, bottle of beer, but not, not that much. So my diet wasn't exactly that great. On the other hand, my workouts weren't exactly that great either. Uh, as you remember, we also have uh, re recorded some of those workouts for you guys and they were mostly done with a hex dumbbell or dumbbells and uh, the weights weren't that heavy. Of course, this was just the stuff I had at home. So when I took the measurement with the Xiaomi scale, I wasn't exactly optimistic about the results, but the body fat percentage reading was extremely like it blew my mind you know it was just insane i think if i remember correctly i got about got about 22 or 23 percent body fat and that that's not very good 18 to 24 percent for men kind of puts you for most ages okay so there are different categories for different ages but for most ages uh, below the age of about 50 it will put you at an overweight category that means you're storing a little bit more fat than you should be storing so it put me in 22 to 23 percent and that was uh, extremely alarming I was a little bit alarmed did I let myself go that much so as soon as gyms opened we checked out first we saw we checked out the safety protocols if it was safe to go back to the gym we did those videos for you guys and uh, you know eventually we realized that you know it's pretty safe you know the gyms are pretty safe there's not not many people distancing is strictly observed and best of all we were able to compare the reading of the Xiaomi to an in-body now they, they're both BIAs or bioelectrical impedance analyzers so in that sense they should have a similar effect but one costs 1,300 pesos and the other costs a quarter of a million pesos so <laughs> why right if they're both uh, if they both operate on the same type of uh, analysis basically they an electric current goes from one end to the other that's why they're metal plates it measures how long that takes depending on how much fat you're holding or how much water you have as well that's how it estimates your um, your body fat percentage now here's just say um, a lot of people are gonna say you know they're not 100% accurate yes they are not 100% accurate but 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 they are more accurate than you think there is probably about up to a maximum of a 10% chance that they're off just by 10% so they're not 90% accurate okay 90% accurate now here's the thing though what happened was I got 23% on the Xiaomi scale and then I took one again recently before taking one at the gym and wow so uh, the Xiaomi sc scale still gave me 22 point something percent if I'm not mistaken uh, I'll show you the reading of that and then the in-body gave me 16% 16% that's a big difference that's more than 6% and guys that's just insane more than 6% body fat difference so that's 16% to 22% wow it, it was off by about 1.6 1.6 3.2 3.2 plus 1.6, 4.8, 4.8 plus 1.6, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8, 5.8
it was off by about 40 percent <laughs> that's insane uh, 40 percent off yeah that is just insane 16 percent puts me in a fitness category still so it still puts me in a fit category so this is uh, uh, body fat percentage that's ideal for men up to the age of about 50 if you still want to be considered fit would uh, put you at about 14% to 17% now if you were uh, if you're a woman the numbers will be different we'll show you the charts for that but yeah you see what I'm getting at here it, it, the Xiaomi scale is just really garbage okay sorry Xiaomi just telling the truth it's just garbage I'm not that fat <laughs> okay um, and I've trusted the in body for the better part of uh, better part of maybe 15 years now so I've been using different versions of that machine uh, I've been to the bulletproof laboratories in Santa Monica California and even Dave Asprey's lab uses an in body so they're they, you know they're pretty much reliable it's really crazy to imagine that like I'm pretty sure I did not let myself go that much you know I was drinking a little bit just a little bit but I didn't have like a beer belly or something like that and definitely not skinny fat I was still holding a decent amount of muscle but yeah that's Xiaomi scale if you're considering buying it yeah don't it's just yeah you could spend your money on a <laughs> on better things that's gonna get you a, a nice meal for two at a at a decent restaurant you know 1300 pesos so maybe you wouldn't want to spend much money on that but here's the thing so um 16 percent for me is still not ideal i don't like that reading for myself normally i did say that 14 to 17 percent is considered put in the fitness category but i normally walk around at about 12 13 percent on normal days and when I'm training for competitions, when I was still competing in uh, functional fitness and CrossFit events, I would actually go down to about eight to ten percent body fat. So that's a little. That's still, you know, it's still not so great for me. Fourteen to seventeen percent for men puts you in the fitness category. Now about uh, six to thirteen percent. Six to thirteen percent puts you in athlete category. Now and of course, when I'm training for competitions. I do train like an athlete and I do eat like an athlete I do sleep like an athlete so the hormones that are involved with uh, storing fat and things as such are obviously um, suppressed that's why uh, the body doesn't hold on to as much fat but on on most normal days you could go for either fitness or um, the higher end of that athlete spectrum above 10% and you could still look pretty good in your clothes so here's the thing i'm gonna challenge all you titos and titas if you want to join me so what i'm going to do is i'm gonna try to get fitter by christmas so comment down below if you want to be fitter by christmas okay so that once the holidays begin and a lot of the festivities start a lot of these uh you know these um indulgent dinners and such and get-togethers happen you'll be ready for it and not so not so big that by the time the new year comes the new year 2021 comes uh, you don't have too much that you want to lose so normally that's the problem we put on a lot of weight uh, during Christmas time from all the festivities from all the dinners from all the drinking and all that kind of thing but um, here's the thing we've already gone through the quarantine 15 so comment down below if you have gone you've built up that quarantine 15 basically gaining 15 pounds over the course of the quarantine and you want to lose it so if you want to lose it yeah definitely comment down below if you want to join fit by christmas i'm gonna spice it up by giving a prize to the best best transformation okay so that prize will be announced only to those who join uh if you join of course you want to get an early start on it it's now october yeah by the time this is posted it will be october 28th so that gives you exactly eight weeks until christmas so if you get your body good by eight, uh, by christmas you get to indulge a little bit more and by new year's you're not gonna have that big of a problem so titas and titas join me fit by christmas okay Tito Fit by Christmas. There you are. Comment down below, Tito Fit by Christmas. And I will see you in the next one.